strength comes from experience. That's true on any planet. We're home. Yes, very amusing. Who wants a fresh cup of tea? Thank you, Ms. Gu, but I can't stay long. I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer. Commander Vandom? Hmm. Does it have anything to do with our new arrival? Correct. He stopped by while you were out on your tour. He said he'll come back, but that I shouldn't wait to ask you. <laughs> Here we go. I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast-track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. The commander does have a way with words. <laughs> Makes even my pitch sound smooth. I explained about the memory issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current need for blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course. And I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? <laughs> I knew you'd make the right choice. Welcome to the organization. Elma, she can start on your team. You'll begin training immediately. Yes, Mr. Secretary. With pleasure. All right! Welcome to the Cool Kids Club! Now then, let's discuss that training assignment. We've decided to start you out on a probe installation, just to get your feet wet. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New L.A., we're using a specialized computer system called FrontierNav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mira. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest priorities. Here, take a look at this. What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes New L.A. and the surrounding landmass. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal blocks. We call these blocks segments. Together, they form our grid. We determined this was the most efficient pattern given the limited range of our probes. Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. The Frontier Nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity. Which comes in handy if we need to track down a blade or another citizen. Yes, quite handy indeed. So for this first exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white segment. Go there, install the data probe, and then come back home. Got it. East of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district, right? We should be there in no time. I'll leave the details on the data probe installation procedure to you, Elma. Of course, Mr. Secretary. All right, you two. Shall we? Yeah! Training or not, let's go install the hell out of that probe!
Man, am I glad we pulled an assignment to the east of the city this time. It'd be a long walk all the way back over to the west gate. Hold on. Are we even sure the east gate will be open? Last I heard, it was still on lockdown from all the high-level indigen activity. It was, but they just lowered the threat level earlier today. The gates are officially open for business. One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? Wouldn't surprise me at all. Irina's team is one of our best. How does she know Irina and Gwyn? We ran into them just before we met up with you. They were on their way out to an assignment. Well, then that settles it. It must have been them, right? Man, forget this amateur hour probe baloney. Those guys are where the action's at. I'll try not to take that personally. But enough talk. We've got our mission to deal with. Let's head out. Roger. That probe isn't gonna install itself. Let's get to the east gate, shall we? here you don't think that one Sinicula could have killed all these simias unless unless what this is bad what's bad I don't follow you that's Sinicula. It's a tyrant. Huh? But it looks just like any other Sinicula. 
Think about it. Your typical simius is way higher up on the food chain than your typical sinicula, right? Usually, we'd find one simius standing over three or four sinicula corpses. But here, the tables have been turned. And I don't see a single trace of any other indigens in the area. There's only one explanation. That sinicula is a tyrant. Let me check the Blade Report database. If there's a tyrant this close to the city, someone must have run across it. Bingo. There was a Sinicula Tyrant sighted not too long ago. But it was a couple of segments further out. It could have followed the blade that spotted it back towards New L.A., or come here to feed, or who knows what. That's crazy. I can't believe there's a Tyrant right on our doorstep, and HQ isn't doing a thing about it. Well, don't forget why they sent us here in the first place. Frontier Nav's range is still limited. They couldn't track it if there's no local probe. They must have lost it when it went off the grid. The Tyrant designation is given to creatures that pose a special threat in the area. That doesn't always mean raw strength. Some Tyrants will actually register as low rank when you find them out in the field and engage them in combat. But don't let that fool you. If a creature shows up as a tyrant, you can be sure it's got at least one nasty trait or ability to speak of. The system can't account for everything, though, so don't let your guard down, no matter what rank it assigns. Even some of Blade's very best teams have come back with serious injuries after running into a tyrant in the field. If they come back at all. As long as you understand the risks involved. Lynn? Count me in. The same goes for everyone in New LA, but... If we're gonna settle here on this planet, we're gonna have to get used to dealing with tyrants now and then. Besides, if I need to, I can always run away while it's busy chewing on one of you guys. <laughs> fair enough. But don't push it, okay? Either of you. If we can take it down, great, but if not, even just luring it away would be a moral victory. As long as we buy enough time to install the probe, we can use Frontier Nav to track it or any other tyrant that comes this close to the city from now on. Just make sure you're ready before we attack. This'll be tougher than anything else we've faced.
Nice work, Lin. You fought well. You did too. Now let's get down to business and install that data probe. If we stay here for long, there's no telling what other playmates might show up. This beam of light indicates a frontier nav site. It marks the ideal spot to bury the probe. Okay, the probe should be ready for insertion. I'll just boot it up. Thanks, Lynn. The top half of the cylinder contains the probe itself. The bottom half is a laser. It dissolves the soil so the probe can burrow to the proper depth. We tried just planting them on the surface at first, but we kept running into problems with the local wildlife damaging the goods. Burying them is going to save us all a lot of time and headaches in the long run. We all set? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm device. Give it a try. Good. Now we just need to give it a minute to reach the target depth. Installation complete. We are now online with a solid connection to Frontier Nav. Excellent. See, at the end of the day, there's really not much to it. The hardest part was calculating the ideal probe locations. We need them spread out evenly to maximize data collection. Yep, planting probes is easy. And the more we plant, the more likely we are to find missing crew. So anytime you see a probe site, there's no excuse not to plant that sucker. That'll do it for your training. Let's head back to the barracks and report to Secretary Nagi. Level up! I think even my cookie got better. Vandom. Well, now, look what the cat dragged in. Sorry we missed you last time. We could have come to meet you at HQ, you know. Indeed. I suggested as much. Twice. And we know how much I enjoy being told what to do. Anyway, I hear you tangled with a tyrant way out of your league. On a training mission, no less. That was reckless and goddamn magnificent. <laughs> 